Hello my friends, I am going to do something new here. I am going to make some vlogs about servicing projectors and cameras and I'm going to start with this particular machine, the Bolex M8. This one was built in 1953. If you own a Bolex and you want to know how old it is, you can go over to bolexcollector.com. We are not affiliated, but I'm just telling you that it's out there. Uh, you can type in the serial number, you can search it up in a table and then you will see how old your projector is. This projector is not owned by me, it is owned by a customer who asked me to fix it up because it is stuck. It has been standing for over 20 years and uh, well it just doesn't go so it needs a, a bit of a service, it needs new lubrication and there's another little problem which I'm going to show you in a bit. First of all the Bolex has some points you need to lubricate uh, at some interval. They are marked by a red dot and one is here, one is here on top, let me just come on focus there, and one is at the back. So I have showed you the lubrication points and I have made a little tool myself. It's, uh, it's a little syringe with some oil in it and I did this a couple of weeks ago already uh, and then went on holiday for three weeks so the oil could soak into the places it needs it. The procedure is very simple. You just find a spot to put it in, give it a little squirt and the oil just seeps in. Then I'm going to tackle the second problem and let me just flip it on its side for that. So we can watch at its insides. I already had the bottom removed earlier. Inside the projector are these things, capacitors. This one was sitting right here. I cut it out because this is a dangerous part. Um, it's a tar capacitor and it is also made in 1953. Um, the reason I cut it out is because of this. This one still is okay but it's a risk. This one comes from another Bolex M8, one of my own, and it has exploded. Here the cap just comes off. This is a thing old capacitors do. In fact, you don't actually need this capacitor. What does this capacitor do? It is a net filter and it filters out interference created by the motor of this projector uh, for your radio or television set. But as less and less people have analog television and radio, this capacitor isn't needed anymore. In fact I have uh, used my projectors without it and I have an analog radio here and you don't hear it. The second capacitor I already had cut out because I had to buy a new one. Um, it's buried deep at this spot and I got this nice little blue one so I'm going to solder that in so the projector runs a okay again. Uh, another little uh, remark about the capacitors. These aren't available anymore. So the capacitor is back in place. Now there's just a one more job to do and that's close up the bottom. Uh, so I need to find some screws. Luckily I have many. Yeah, so this happened. Uh, I just stated that I have many screws, which I do. I have bins full of them, but they're all in metric sizes, which makes sense. What doesn't make sense is that Bolex decided to use M3.5 millimeters on the bottom screws, of which I have only one. And I do have only one because the owner removed the bottom himself and then just forgot about the screws. So I don't have them. So the owner must put the bottom on. So what you see there in the projector is the same as this. It's the same width. 
so it's just a male plug so what we in fact need to do is make a power cord with a female plug on this end and make a male plug on the other end this is a standard plug it's a female counter plug of which I grind it off the edge so it loses safety but if you use it correct and I have to assume that the owner does know how to use this correct uh, it's no problem at all so here we are I did the surface I made the power cord let's find out if it actually runs Does the light work? Yes it does. Speed control does work too. I'm happy. It runs fine. And now just one thing remains. That's giving it a good clean. So I put on my super duper headlight and I'm going to clean the projector. Let's get some cloths. You know what? Let's play a movie. As you might notice, this film is on the wrong side of the spool. It's coming off on the wrong side. That means it's not totally wrong. That means it has been played on one of these, the Humic P8. Because they wind the film in the other, in the other direction than all other projectors in the entire world do. Here it goes. <clears throat> and that's how I did the surface on this Bolex M8 from 1953. You can like and subscribe and I'll see you another time.